Hi, my name is John Carruthers. I've been working in the music industry for the last 50 years. I've worked for most of the major manufacturers in design and production. I also have my own company that uh, makes guitars. We do guitar service, repairs, and modifications. Um, if you'd like to learn more about working on your own instrument, I have a book that's on Alfred Publishing called Guitar Care and Gear Essentials. Today I'm going to show you how to install a hip shot replacement bridge. Uh, many of the bases come with bridges that are the old traditional style and they, they're a little bit sloppy, they don't uh, have a, a nice adjustment and they don't transfer the sound as well into the guitar and so the quality of the sound is affected. So by taking the old bridge off and putting this one on we can enhance the sound and playability of the instrument. So first thing we have to do is we have to take off the old bridge. Okay, you'll notice under here that there's a ground wire and that has to be in contact with the new bridge. That uh, is a string ground, so when you put your hands on the string, it stops noise from going into the pickups and into your system. Now, you notice we have five holes here from the original bridge. We need to uh, line up the new bridge and see if any of the holes match up. And we're quite fortunate here that basically all the original holes do line up. Now, we're gonna take the old bridge and we're gonna set it on here and then we're going to line it up with the holes and then we're going to mark off where the intonation point is and that will be right in the middle of this saddle. So basically we're going to put a line right there. So we have to be able to put the new bridge on and have that line be in the same place. If you notice this is the middle of the saddle so it looks like we're in good shape. So now basically what we have to do is take the three screws and attach them and attach the plate to the face of the base. Probably a good idea to get all your screws started before you Tighten them down. So now I'm going to take this saddle and we're going to remove it because it's in the way and I can't put the screw in. So we'll just push that screw out of the way and then we can put the other screw in. Make sure they're snug down so we get maximum sound transference. Okay, so then we just have to reinstall that one saddle that we took out. Okay, so now we've inserted the screws that hold the bridge plate onto the face of the guitar, so we have to replace the one saddle that we took off. So we take the intonation adjustment screw and we put that into the bridge. We take the spring that goes on that screw and slide it on and then we have to take the saddle and put that and then we take a screwdriver and we try and line up the screw with the hole in the back of the saddle so that we can get them to interface and then we just turn the screwdriver till we get this thread established. Then we just want to screw it back to where it was when we first put it on which is usually the saddle that's the furthest back of all of them because it's got the thickest string. Now that we've uh, installed the bridge and got the strings on the guitar, we need to adjust the action at the bridge and then check the intonation. So we basically need a scale that's calibrated in 60 fourths and we need uh, the appropriate Allen wrench that fits the screws that are for the height adjustment. So we basically take the scale and we go to the 17th fret or where the neck joins the body and we look at what the dimension is. It's supposed to be 330 seconds, so we can adjust it till we get to 330 seconds. Then we can move on to the next string. This one's supposed to be about, uh, not quite 430 seconds, just a little under 430 seconds, so we adjust that. Then we move to the other one here, and this one should be about around the same. That looks good, and then we're going to set the lowest one at 430 seconds, so we've got that. And then what we're going to do is check the intonation. So basically, we'll plug into a tuner, and then when we uh, play it, if it's sharp, then we need to move the saddle back. If it's flat, we need to move the saddle forward. So we just plug it into a tuner and just adjust accordingly. Now, if you want a more advanced you know, setup procedure, refer to our previous video about setting up bases.